One of the victims, Rob Hyacin, was the brother of Miami Herald columnist and author Carl Hyacin. And that makes this shooting even more personal for South Florida and for the Miami Herald. CBS 4's Joan Murray has that story for us live from Doral. Joan. And Rick and Ruta Bay, Rob Hyacin was only 59 years old. Not only does his brother work here, but Rob Hyacin's nephew, Scott, used to work here. Scott's wife is a current Herald environmental reporter. So this is a large family that is grieving. I think all of us who are reporters and journalists today are rethinking what it's like to be one and how safe are we. The targeted attack at the Capitol Gazette that left five dead hit home for reporters everywhere. The loss is personal at the Miami Herald. Murdered Gazette editor and columnist Rob Hyacin is the brother of Herald reporter and novelist Carl Hyacin. He was this really gentle soul. He's a very big guy, really tall, um, but always kind of minimized that because I think he knew he could be a little bit intimidating if he wanted to be, but he wasn't, and he was very nurturing, um, especially to the younger reporters. Herald editor Amy Driscoll, a friend and former co-worker of Rob Hyacin, said the loss is deep and wide. He made us all feel special, and that is, that's a rare quality. Now, journalists can be really tough, and Rob was kind of the opposite. He was an unusual mix of super smart and very funny, but also self-deprecating and very, very kind. Reached by phone, Carl Hyacin said his brother was the glue that bound his family together. He was the rock of our family. He was the little brother, but he was still, he was still the, the guy who brought all of us together and kept us together when, when times were tough. But I, most of all, I think what he would want me to talk about is, is journalism and the importance of community journalism. He was killed while he was doing what he loved to do. Rob Hyacin, who grew up in Fort Lauderdale, leaves behind his wife of 33 years, three grown children, and countless grateful journalists. Well, I remember how often Rob would be asked to help people with their writing because he was a beautiful writer. And me personally also, I would be asking him, you know, occasionally, will you look at something for me? And he would do that every time, stop what he was doing, give you advice, but never in a negative way, always in a very positive way, tell you what a great job you had done and here's where you could improve. I think that's how he approached everything and that's why he will be so missed. And Amy Driscoll worked with Rob Hyacin at the Palm Beach Post a few years ago. Now, Hyacin was very aware of the dangers journalists often face. Uh, I've read a few years ago, he wrote a moving piece dedicated to the journalists who had died while on the job. In Doral, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.